I'm Jody Glover, Principal Curriculum Developer for Oracle. I'm going to show you how to create an I.O. domain in Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center. Let's create an I.O. domain on the T2A01 Virtualization Server. Begin by expanding the Plan Management pane, then Profiles and Policies. Select Logical Domain, and then in the Actions pane, click Create Profile. The Create Profile Logical Domain wizard is displayed. In the Identify Profile panel, enter a name for the profile. Leave the checkbox selected to create a deployment plan, and select the Physical I.O. Domain subtype, and then click the Next button. In the Specify Domain Identity panel, enter a name for your logical domain, and then click the Next button. In the Configure Logical Domain panel, specify the CPU and memory settings and then click the Next button. In the Specify PCIe Endpoint Devices panel, take a look at the types of endpoint devices that you can attach and then select Ethernet device, leave the number set to 1 and click the Next button. In the Specify Storage and Disks panel, click Next. We'll specify storage later when we apply the plan. In the Specify Networks panel, add the network to be connected to the I.O. domain and the number of connections for that network. Click the Next button to continue. Review the Summary panel and then click the Finish button. The profiles created and listed under Logical Domain in the Plan Management pane. Your next step is to apply the plan that's associated with your I.O. domain profile. In the Select Target Assets window, add a virtualization server to the target list. This is the server on which you want to create your I.O. domain. Click the Next button to continue. In the Specify Domain Identity panel, leave the default name as is and click the Next button. In the PCIe Endpoint Devices Assignment panel, select a device and click Next. In the Storage Resource Assignments panel, leave the name of the virtual disk server as is. In the table, add a storage resource for the IO Domain's operating system. In this example, we'll select a LUN. Take a moment and review the multipathing settings. Click the Next button to continue. In the Specify Network Connection Settings panel, Leave the settings as is. We want the connection to be created using a virtual network device, otherwise known as a VNet. The tagging mode doesn't apply in this case because the network is not a VLAN. Click the Next button to continue. In the Networks Resource Assignments panel, select a service domain for each network. The service domain contains the virtual switch for the network. Click Next. Schedule the job now and click Next. Finally, in the Summary panel, review all the settings for your I.O. domain, make sure they're what you want, and then click the Apply button. Expand the Assets pane and take a look at the Virtualization Server. Notice that your I.O. domain is listed now, and it has a lock next to it while it's being created. When the job is finished and the I.O. domain is created, notice that the lock is no longer displayed, only the arrow. Now it's ready for an operating system. And that is how you create an I.O. domain in Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center. Thanks for watching.